In the previous video, we showed that the area bounded between y equals cosh x, y equals shine x, and 0 up to log of 5, that area was equal to 4 fifths. So, the question now is, is instead of stopping at 4 fifths, what if we went to infinity, what would be the area then? Now, what happens is that the curve of shine x, as x tends to infinity, gets closer and closer and closer to cosh x. Okay, so you can get them as close as you like. So, although they keep on going forever and ever and ever, what about the area? So, this is becoming an improper integral, because we are going to have infinity as one of the limits of our integral. So we are looking for the integral between 0 and infinity of cosh x take away shine x. dx. So in order to access this and to understand what's going on, uh, you will need to have met improper integrals by this point. So. What we do is we say we're looking at the limit as a tends to infinity of the integral between 0 and a of cosh x take away shine x. OK, so we've got the limit. So this integrates to shine x take away cosh x, evaluated between 0 and a. So now I'm going to substitute in my limits. So we get shine of a take away cosh of a, and then substituting in 0, I get shine of 0, which is 0, and take away cosh of 0, which is 1. OK, so we have the limit as a tends to infinity of, right, now shine of a, I'm going to need to write that as e to the a, take away e to the minus a over 2, and then I've got take away e to the a plus e to the minus a over 2, and I've got plus 1 on the end. So... What have I got? Now I've got this e to the a over 2, take away e to the a over 2, so they're gone. We have minus e to the minus a over 2, take away e to the minus a over 2, so that means I've got take away or minus e to the minus a, and I've got that plus 1 on the end. Now as a tends to infinity, e to the minus a is going to go closer and closer and closer to 0, so actually the limit is 1. So the integral, the area rather, between 0 and log 5 was 4 fifths. So that bit was 4 fifths, which means the rest of it, all the way to infinity, was 1 fifth. It was just 1 fifth more, adding it all together. Okay, And so that is equal to 1.